I'm going to talk about an immersive experience. But first, I'm going to tell you a story. Four years ago, I was in the Andes Mountains of Peru working on a construction project. And I was in a community called Pampa Corral, a really remote, isolated community, um, about 13,000 feet in elevation. And I was talking, I was having a conversation with these community members. And they kept bringing up this idea of greenhouses. Greenhouses to grow vegetables. Because at this altitude, it's really challenging to grow vegetables. So I looked into it. Um, I talked to NGOs. I talked to stakeholders. And I visited a lot of these community greenhouse projects. And the reality is, the technology works. You can build cheap, simple greenhouses and grow vegetables at high altitudes. But they almost always fail in the communities. So fast forward to last summer, July 21st. I'm in that same community, and I'm with 12 grad students. And we developed a model alongside this community for greenhouses that we thought would work. And we slept in the community the night before, like we had so many nights before. We woke up early, um, maybe too early. <laughs> and um, we were getting ready for our first community work day. So members of the community were going to come, and we were going to physically start building this greenhouse that we've been working on for so long. And it's 7.30 a.m., and we're there, and we're out in the site, and we're waiting, and 8 rolls around, and 8.30, and nobody's there. And then 9, and I'm like, crap. <laughs> nobody's coming. Uh, but then a couple guys showed up, and then they all showed up. And they had picks, and they had shovels, we worked all day moving dirt, moving rocks. And I remember overlooking this whole operation and thinking to myself, this is it. This community worked with this group of grad students, and they collectively made a model that they all believed in, and now they're all making it happen. And I want to tell you the story of this group, our experience, and how this experience relates to education. It's about an immersive experience. So keep this question in mind. How can students become empowered and add value to their education? Now, I came to Miss, uh, to the Monterey Institute, last year to get a master's degree. And I also came to recruit two or three students to help me with this greenhouse project. We called ourselves Team Peru. This group grew from three to 12. We worked really hard that first year to develop these projects. We went to Peru in January to prepare for them. And in the summer, we were going to go and work on not only agricultural education, but NGO networks, women's empowerment, and community, community health training. When we got to Peru last summer, we hit the ground running. We were working really hard. 50 to 60 hours a week we were putting into these projects. Um, it was a crazy, it was a blur, and then the summer was over. <laughs> and we took a deep breath. And we came back to Monterey, and then something started to happen. Plants started to grow in the greenhouses. Children were learning how to grow vegetables in a climate where they could never grow vegetables before. Organizations were emailing us. They'd heard about what our students were doing, and they wanted us to work with them. Local governments contacted us and wanted us to expand our projects in their communities. And we started to realize that this club we'd started on campus, Team Peru, was defining our graduate experience. And from this experience came three main ideas. Three ideas that profoundly affected us as students and that can profoundly affect education in general. The first idea is responsibility, real responsibility. Now, with our team, we're very invested in these projects. And we take our projects and we incorporate them into our studies here at the Monterey Institute. In every class, we're working on Team Peru projects. I'm sure Beryl is sick of hearing the word Team Peru because we're working <laughs> so much. Um, and we take what we learn at MISS and we apply it to our projects in Peru. And these projects end up affecting people's lives. And that's a lot of responsibility, but that's the idea. And when you have this responsibility, this leads to empowerment. Now, we learn here at Monterey Institute that when communities have ownership over the development, this leads to sustaining positive change. Our greenhouses are successful because these communities have ownership. 
And we as a team are successful because we have ownership. Now we watched these communities kind of empower themselves, and we also became empowered. And the third idea is collective intelligence. Collective intelligence to foster collective action. <clears throat> now, teamwork and cooperation are really important for us to develop as students. And we work really hard as a team here at Monterey Institute. And we also work collectively with these communities and with other stakeholders in the, in the area. And by harnessing all these different viewpoints and all these different perspectives, we're, ev we're able to create projects that are truly unique. Our greenhouse model is unique. And it's because we put so much emphasis on this idea of collective intelligence. So here are the three main ideas. Responsibility, empowerment, and collective intelligence. Now, I'll be graduating in May. Well, if I pass data analysis, I'm going to graduate in May. <laughs> And the members who started Team Fruit with me will be walking away with Miss with this master's degree that we'd hoped for, but we're also leaving with something much more profound, empowerment. For two years, we owned our graduate experience. We used it to add value to our lives, and we used it to add value to the lives of indigenous communities. Now, I'm here today because I really believe in this model, an immersive experience to add value to education. This is the changing face of education, and I think a lot of you in the audience already agree. So let's make it happen, let's change the face of education. Thank you.